Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the duality of public inheritance. The seemingly innocent public inheritance actually has a duality in it, which is the inheritance of interface and the inheritance of implementation. A public inheritance could be either one of them or both of them. Let's look at our example. Our class dog has a bark function and the bark function is a pure virtual function. And the yellow dog, which is derived from dog, overrides the bark function with its own implementation. Now, in this case, the yellow dog inherits the interface of the bark function and does not inherit the implementation of the bark function because the bug function doesn't have an implementation anyway. It's a pure virtual. So this is an interface only inheritance. Now suppose we have another function. It's a regular function called run. And of course the run function needs an implementation. As we discussed in the other video of maintaining is a relationship, a non-virtual function should not be overridden. So the yellow dog should not override the run function. As a result, the yellow dog will inherit the interface of the run function as well as the implementation of the run function. So this is a dual inheritance of both interface and implementation. Now let's have another virtual function called eat. And this virtual function has its own implementation. Now the yellow dog is given a choice. It can either override the eat function or not override it. If it choose not to override the eat function, then eat is just like run. The yellow dog will inherit its interface as well as its implementation. If the yellow dog choose to override the eat function, then eat is just like bark. The yellow dog will inherit its interface but not implementation. Instead, it will provide its own version of the implementation. So you can say a non-pure virtual function is providing an inheritance of the interface as well as a default implementation. Now let's have another function. It's a protected function called sleep. And it has its own implementation. Since the function is protected, the yellow dog will inherit the function. However, it only inherits the implementation of the function and not the interface of the function. To provide a service for sleep, the yellow dog needs to provide its own version of the public function. Let's call it void i sleep. And this function will call sleep. Now the yellow dog has its own interface for sleep. So as you see, a protected function provides an implementation inheritance only. To summarize the types of inheritance provided by C++ language, there are four types. Type 1 pure virtual public function inherits interface only. Type 2, a non-virtual public function inherits both interface and implementation. Type 3, impure virtual public function inherits interface and a default implementation. Type 4, a protected function inherits implementation only.
As a software designer who is designing the software, it is very important to separate the concepts of interface and implementation. Because he needs to know when to use interface inheritance and when to use implementation inheritance. Now the question for us is, when? Interface inheritance is the main feature of inheritance. The purpose of it is, number one, subtyping which means one type can be safely used in the context where another type is expected. Number two, polymorphism. As you see, these two are very important technique in object-oriented programming, and they are closely related. So a pure virtual function, which is uh, interface inheritance only, should be widely used when a subtyping and polymorphism is needed pitfalls of interface inheritance. Be careful of interface bloat. Since the interface of a parent class is inherited by its child class, it can easily lead to interface bloat. Interface should be designed to be minimally enough. It provides enough functionalities, but the size of it should be minimal. Another one is, interface should not reveal implementation details. The whole purpose of interface design is to hide the in implementation details. So the implementation can change as much as it like. The interface should stay relatively fixed. If an interface reveals the implementation details, then we are losing all the benefits of abstraction. What about implementation inheritance? Implementation inheritance is generally not encouraged, although sometimes we do need them. Implementation inheritance has many problems. One of the biggest problem is it increases code complexity. Think about the way we write code. We first load a chunk of code into our head, understand it, get things right, and then move on and load another chunk. The problem with implementation inheritance is it makes that chunk of code too big for our head. In order to get something right in the derived class, I have to have a good understanding of all its base classes. And in order to change something in the base class, I have to be very careful not to break anything in all its derived classes so things become complicated. Non-virtual functions and impure virtual functions inherit both interface and implementation. However, the implementation inheritance should be considered as side benefit of the interface inheritance. A protected function inherits implementation only, so it should not be encouraged in general. If there's uh, some implementation needs to be shared by the base class and derived class, move that implementation to some helper class, and both base class and derived class shall have access to that helper class. It is much more flexible that way. Guidelines for implementation inheritance. Number one, do not use inheritance for code reuse. Use composition instead. Inheritance is not for code reuse. Composition is. Number two, minimize the implementation in base classes. Base classes should be thin with implementation. Number three, minimize the level of hierarchies in implementation inheritance. So both number two and number three will reduce the number of implementation inheritance. Some people claim that inheritance is evil and it should be avoided altogether. I'm not convinced of that, but I do agree the second statement. Inheritance is often useful, but more often overused, or I should say abused. This is particularly true for implementation inheritance. When implementation inheritance is used too much, it does make inheritance look like evil. But in the end, 
Inheritance is just a tool for you to use. And like any other tools, when it is used inappropriately, it will hurt you. However, one cannot call a knife evil because it is used inappropriately and cut your finger. If you can remember all the pitfalls and guidelines, the inheritance in your code should not look like evil. That's all for today's topic, the duality of public inheritance, interface and implementation. See you next time.